Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Here's a little kitten. Um, unfortunately, she looks very pregnant. She's a nice little girl though. And over on this side, we have Miss Soxy and Mr. Buddy sitting over here. I just let um, I just let Max and uh, Lucy in the house, and there's Miss Bella going, um, hello, let me in. There she's over there trying to get to the door. So, anyway, uh, today, I believe, yes, July 14th, Saturday, 2018. As you can see, it is raining. Uh, I was out, actually, for a bit today on my Harley with my buddy Randy and uh, his new girlfriend. So, I met them out. We had some lunch, rode around a lake, one of the lakes up here, and... Uh, just had a really enjoyable afternoon and then we stopped at the last place we went to and it started sprinkling and then it really started raining so we uh i was like okay well i'm heading home and he's like all right i'll see you later so it was uh a very wet ride home uh actually i'll show you you can see my pants dry to here and then the knees down are completely wet uh my t-shirt is completely wet but that's what happens when you ride it's no big deal but uh, you're always gonna you're gonna get wet at some point, but uh, not a big deal. Here comes Miss Bella now, as you can see. So anyway, actually before the rain came, we still pulled in 5.2 kilowatt hours today, which was not terrible at all. And uh, but um, yeah, I know I see you too. Got to get more food in the dish out here for these guys. But uh, so anyhow, um, you know. I want to address something yesterday. I had, you know, several people, of course, accusing me of attacking Christians and that I'm uh, belittling God and, and uh, you know, uh, being very dismissive of Christian beliefs, which is not the case at all. I have always said, guys, that uh, if whatever you believe in, if it makes you happy and it gives you peace of mind, that's awesome and I'm happy for you, okay? So we're going to talk about, just for a moment here, uh, what my beliefs are, okay? And so we're going to make things very, very clear. Uh, no, I am not a Jehovah Witness. And uh, so somebody said, oh, well, he doesn't believe in God, so he must be a Jehovah Witness. They they have a whole different set, and they believe in God and the whole thing. But uh, let me go back into my background of religion, okay? I was baptized a Protestant uh, when I was a baby, and my mother was Protestant up until... Uh, probably eight or nine years old, and then she became a Jehovah Witness. And yes, we went to the Kingdom Hall and stuff like that. I was never baptized a witness, so I was never a full-fledged member. Uh, the witnesses believe that you don't get baptized until you have old enough and you've completely accepted everything, and then you get baptized again, and then you become a witness, okay? Well, I never did. Uh, I questioned everything because that's what I do. That's how I am. It's always the way I've been. Uh, it... 15 or 16, I basically said, I'm not going anymore. Uh, I checked out other religions, okay? I found a lot of hypocrisy in religions. Uh, when you have, you know, priests that put themselves in a position so that they can molest little boys, I have an issue with that. Uh, I have an issue with a lot of the things of, of organized religion. Uh, to me, personally, organized religion is about three things. It's power, control, and money, okay? So, but that being said, I have always stated and will always continue to state, if whatever you believe in gives you peace of mind, then I am absolutely 100% happy for you, okay? I do not belittle your beliefs. I do not say that you are wrong. Um, now, I did say that I thought it was ridiculous that, that, that some people, not all Christians think this, of course, but some Christians think that if you don't take the chip, that you're going to get your head cut off, okay? I find that a little bit extreme, and that was what I was saying. So I laugh a little bit in my videos because I find some things, you know, beyond belief, but that some people believe those things, which is fine, okay? That's just my opinion. That's all it is, guys. It's my opinion. If you want to think that if you don't take the chip that they're going to cut your head off and that's what you're hoping for, hey, knock yourself out, okay? I have no intention of taking any chip either, and it's not based on religious beliefs. It's based on I'm not going to be controlled by anybody if I can help it. Now, somebody had made a point 
in yesterday's video and it made a very good point uh, basically we're already all chipped anyway everybody has cell phones nowadays there's a chip in your cell phone they can track you through your cell phone okay uh, when you go on your laptop or you go on your computer anything that you're looking for any of your search engine whatever you're doing that's all monitored they all know, already know what you're doing okay when they send you these census surveys and stuff like that they don't really even need to send that out because they already have all your information okay they really truly do so you know that information you know with you know like you go on Facebook and like I had said in yesterday's video and you're gonna search for something or if you're on your phone and you search for something next thing you go on Facebook there's an advertisement for what you were searching for so you know you're being monitored when you use your reward card at the store they're following what you're purchasing and they may send you coupons in the mail based on what your purchase pattern is it happens all the freaking time okay so they're already to that to a point it's already completely already happened we're already in that matrix of control if you will already okay I try to live as free as I possibly can now I want to talk about my religious beliefs okay I am I consider myself more one with nature okay when I am out here in the woods and if I take a walk into the woods that's where I feel close to God or whatever title you want to put on it okay I don't have a, a, an ultimate title I follow more to be honest with you a, a, a pagan uh, mindset because it's like they have a, a credence in paganism that says in it harm none you basically can do whatever you want in life as long as you're not harming anybody okay I mean if you are Catholic and you are a German Catholic in World War II and a British Catholic in World War II and a an American Catholic in World War II you were told it's okay to go to war and kill those people because they're your enemy okay you know what I like the credo of in it harm none uh, I try to live my life, you know, I, I, I had a, okay, I'm going to share something with you. I had a buddy of mine who's really, really super Christian, okay, and him and I would have a lot of deep philosophical or philosophical discussions on religion and our, and our, both of our thoughts. He wasn't trying to convert me. I wasn't trying to convert him. We were just sharing information, okay. He told me at one point in time, he said, Ed, I got to tell you something. He said, for somebody that's not a Christian, he said, you are one of the most moral people that I have ever met in my life. So, you know, and I kind of, I, I thought that was kind of interesting. But it's like, if you have a code that you live by, now you can use the Bible. You can use the Ten Commandments from the Bible. It's a really good code to go by, okay? But again, if you want to go by paganism, if you will, in it harm none. You don't do anything to hurt somebody else. You don't try you know to to manipulate somebody and and do bad things to people you know i, I just like i said I, I i'm more like i said i'm more one with nature i like the elements earth air fire you know wind you know that's what it's about you know there's so much beauty in nature and not a lot of the nonsense um you know and, and like i said in my opinion organized religion is about three things power control and money they're going to tell you what to do how to live your life they want your money, and they're going to control you, you know, and, and it's about power. They have power. Look at the Catholic Church. I'm just using them as an example, guys. I'm not trying to hammer on the Catholic Church, but they are a corporation. They are a very, very powerful corporation, and they control things, okay, you know, and that's just the way it is. So anyway, you know, whatever relationship you have with the greater being, okay, be it Allah, Buddha, um, you know, God, Jehovah, you know, Yahweh, whatever title you want to put on it, okay, if it gives you peace, I am 100% happy for you. I will not judge you on that, and I won't judge anybody on that, but at the same time, don't tell me I'm going to hell and that I have to have a relationship with Jesus and all this other stuff, because I'm not buying it, guys. I'm sorry, I just don't buy it, okay? If you don't want to follow my channel because my religious views are different from your religious views, that is your prerogative. And I wish you Godspeed and have a great life and enjoy yourself. All right? I don't judge people. I really, truly don't. I don't care. Whatever gives you peace, do what you got to do. But unfortunately, we are in a society where everybody wants to judge everybody else for something else. Now, okay, you know, I may have laughed when I talked about... Um, the flat earth 
I laughed about the fact that I believe that some Christians can't wait to have their heads cut off. The reason I laughed is because I think that it is absolutely crazy thinking. I mean, crazy thinking. But, again, that's me. Now, here's the thing, the other thing I want to talk about. People have talked, a lot of comments. These are the end times. It's been in the book of Revelation. Everything. Throughout recorded history, it has been the end times every freaking generation, guys. Every generation could say, oh, see, these are the signs, this is the end, it's near, it's coming now, and all this other stuff, okay? You know what? Whatever is going to happen is going to happen, okay? If there is a tribulation, if, if you are a Christian and you believe there's going to be a tribulation, and a tribulation is going to last seven years before, you know, Jesus comes back, then you guys that believe that should be prepping, should be preparing way more than anybody else. Because if you realize that there's going to be seven years of tribulation, don't you think that you should probably be prepared to handle that time period and be ready for it and try to survive? You know what I mean? That's what my philosophy, guys, you know, like I said, I prepare for the worst and I hope for the best. And I would hope that all you guys do the same thing. Regardless of whatever your reasoning is, whatever reason that you need or to feel that way, or that you're compelled to feel that way, I had a calling for me, and I, you know, I don't know how to explain it other than that, that this is what I needed to do. I also felt that I needed to share with other people, and that's what I try to do. I try to help as many people as I possibly can. Now, like I said, you know, you get on a hotbed of religion, you get on a hotbed of abortion, you get on a hotbed of politics, and people go absolutely bonkers if they don't believe the same thing that you believe, and they're going to try to convince you. I'm not trying to convince anybody to do anything. You do what you want to do. Whatever makes you happy, knock yourself out. If you don't believe in abortion, don't get one. That's all. That's, you know, that's my thing. If you don't believe in it, don't do it. Okay? Um, if you are in this political party and you don't like the other political party, that's your prerogative. Knock yourself out. Because the thing is, uh, if you're Republican or Democrat, they're the same freaking thing. And as soon as you guys realize that they're the same thing and they're only doing the things to help out the rich friends... Then you'll figure it out, okay? It's a game. We're all being manipulated. So anyway, I am ranting today. Um, just wanted to do that. I just, I got attacked so much in yesterday, because of yesterday's video, that I'm attacking Christians and that, you know, I'm anti-God and that I, you know, I'm not, guys. I'm not, okay? If it makes you happy, if it gives you peace of mind, that's what it's all about for me, okay? That's what I want for you. I want you all to be happy. I'm trying to be happy, Okay? I, I try to live a simple life. I try to have as less stress as I possibly can. I don't like stress. I don't like drama. I do not like drama. So I'm not going to feed into drama, okay? So that's why I wanted to, to talk about this video, you know, uh, uh, again, just basically saying I'm not about the drama. I'm not trying to get drama. I don't want to stir things up. I don't, I don't want people to be all like, oh, you know, you believe this and this is wrong or you believe that and that's wrong. And believe whatever you want. Believe whatever you want. But the most important thing is, I don't care what you believe in, okay? As long as you prep, and you're getting ready, and you're getting yourself squared away, okay? Here, let me show you. Here she is. See her belly? Belly's really fat. Go on up there. I gotta get her more food. Anyway, guys, that being said, I'm jumping off here right now. Uh, I hope this clears things up. I'm trying to clear things up with you guys. Um, so, anyway... Remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. And remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you is you. Stop blaming anybody and everybody else for not being successful for whatever reason. And look in the mirror. That's the only one that's going to hold you back, okay? I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.